Are you looking for the best budget projector 2024? The only five best budget projector you should consider today review buy and guide? In this video, we will look at some of the best budget projector. The only five best budget projector you should consider today review buy and guide on the market. For more details, I price click product link. Please check the description below. Before we get started with our video, number one, Bank at 671st. Looking for the best budget projector? Look no further than the Betcat 671st, as it delivers decent performance at a budget friendly price. While its brightness is on the lower side, making its 1080 tip image look a bit washed out in well lit rooms, it's still bright enough to look good in dim rooms. Plus, it offers decent contrast for an overall enjoyable experience in darker settings. It has a wide color gamut with excellent pre-calibration accuracy, so it's both colorful and accurate. It's a short throw projector and can project a 60-inch image from about 3 feet away and up to a 180-inch image from around 9 feet. Great for smaller rooms or if you just want to have your projector installed closer to your wall or screen. It's compact and lightweight at just 5.9 pounds, making it easy to move around compared to larger models. However, it's a bit lacking in features. It doesn't support Bluetooth or Wi-Fi out of the box, and it doesn't include a smart OS. To be fair, that is true of most cheap models, except those made for portability. As for connectivity, it has two 10A Type 60 High Z Pipes in the ports and a VGA port. The second to me port supports mouth allowing you to plug your phone or tablet directly into the projector to stream content, which is handy since it lacks a USB data port. Instead, it features a mini USB service port and a USB type, a port for power delivery. Overall, this model offers excellent value, although you'll want a streaming dongle to get the most out of it. Number 2. Epson Home Cinema 1080 if you're looking to buy a projector for a room with a few lights, consider instead the Epson Home Cinema 1080. It projects a sharp 1080 image and is very bright, so it can easily handle moderately lit rooms, unlike a Bank 670. First, unfortunately, its contrast is inadequate overall, so blacks are raised when viewed in dark rooms. If you're exclusively looking for a dark room projector, consider the Bank instead or the ViewSonic PIC 701 fork below both of which have much better contrast. Thankfully, the Epson's color gamma is all right. It's good enough to project pleasant colors, although nothing will blow your socks off. You also can improve the unit's color accuracy with calibration, but that's fine, as it's already great out of the box. While it isn't truly a portable projector due to its size and lack of an integrated battery, it's only 5.9 pounds, so it's easy to carry around if needed. It has automatic vertical keystone correction, which further facilitates its portability, and its optical zoom lets you adjust the projected image's size without further moving the unit. The projector has two 1080 tipped and a 6 eyes dit, the latter of which lets you project supported content from your computer. Unfortunately, the unit doesn't come with the smart eyes. Still, it does have Wi-Fi 5 mirrorcast for screen mirroring, so all it is missing for full streaming functionality is an external streaming dongle, which you can power through the unit's USB, a port. Overall, it's the best bright room budget projector available for most people. Number 3. Gimme Hello. If you're looking for a model you can easily carry without plugging it into an outlet, the best cheap portable projector we've tested is the XGME Halo. It's a very small unit and weighs only 3.7 pounds, so you can easily throw it into a backpack. Plus, it has an integrated battery promising up to 2.5 hours of uninterrupted playback, which is long enough to watch most movies. With its suite of image correction features, this is truly a projector you can take on the go, as it automatically sets itself up correctly no matter where you install it. To round up the package, it comes with the Android TV Smart Interface, Chromecast and AirScreen support, and Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth 5.0 capabilities. Like most portable models, it's slightly dim but significantly brighter than most competitors. It'll project a pleasant 1080 tip image as long as all the lights are off or the moonlight isn't too strong. Fortunately, it does have great contrast, emphasizing its dark room capabilities. It also has a very wide color gamut and not your support, 
but it's not bright enough to take advantage of them. Its color accuracy is quite poor, and while you can improve it somewhat through calibration, this isn't really a product for color purists, but then again, color accuracy doesn't matter too much when projecting a movie on the side of a barn or van. It has one mid port, which also doubles as an ERC port, and a OS port through which you can play video files directly to the projector. Number 4. Epson Epic Vision Flex Co. 1. If you're looking for the best cheap projector with a mind towards finding the best possible value, look at the Epson Epic Vision Flex Co. 1. While it doesn't have any DAR support, it projects an extremely bright 1280x800 resolution image that is perfect for bright offices, but the projector is also no slouch for watching movies. Its bright image makes content pop, and this model looks great when watching content in a moderately lit room. Unfortunately, the contrast is inadequate. Blacks are raised and look gray. This means it'll look its best when a few lights are on. Its out-of-the-box color accuracy is decent, which is certainly good enough for most people, but color purists can greatly improve it through the projector's two-point white balance calibration. Like every other projector on this list, this model is pretty light at 5.4 pounds, so you can carry it around if you need to. Unfortunately, unlike the Xgemi Halo or Epson Home Cine 801080, it lacks any auto keystone correction and auto focusing, so you must manually adjust the image if you wish to fix any geometry issues. It also lacks any smartos and doesn't even have Wi Fi, so an external streaming dongle is necessary. It does have a USB-I port to let you project some audio and video files directly from a see-through Epson's U-Epson's USB display software, and you can project a few file formats through the units of port, but overall, it's rather bare bones when it comes to ports, especially as it has only one port. Number 5. ViewSonic Puck 701 If you're shopping for a darkroom projector or if you're specifically looking for a gaming unit, the ViewSonic PIC 701. Fork is one of the best budget projectors we've tested. It is decently bright, certainly bright enough for dim rooms, and its contrast is quite good, making it the best option here to watch movies with the lights off. It's not a true fork projector, but it uses pixel shifting to achieve a higher resolution image, giving it the sharpest image of any projector on this list. Unfortunately, this unit has one big flaw regarding image quality, its color accuracy is very poor out of the box, and you can barely improve it through calibration. This model does offer a ton of performance for the price, but it's not for color purists. And for the gamers out there, this model has two HDMI ports capable of gaming at 460, as do 1080 tip to 240Z. Like many other projectors, it's not exactly portable, but it's also light at 6.2 pounds, so you can move it easily if needed. It even has automatic vertical keystone correction so it can fix any geometry errors automatically on the vertical axis. While it supports a team, which neither the Benkett 671st nor the Epson Home Cinema 1080 have, its color gamut and output brightness aren't good enough to project a pleasant steer experience, so stick to Stuckter content where possible. It also lacks any smart O's or wireless features, so connecting an external streaming dongle is necessary if you want any streaming features. Overall, it's a bit expensive to qualify as a cheap product, but it's a good choice for anyone willing to overlook its poor accuracy.